slapped with a whole bunch of shipping labels, what's inside the new My Geek Box? Yes, it seems more and more, I understand, of course, with the shipping system the way it has to be, that you have to put all these labels on it, but gosh darn it, does it ever take away from the box? Look at the state of this box. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up if you guys are interested in subscribing and getting the My Geek Box delivered to your door. The link will be down below. Let's go ahead and without further ado, we're going to grab my brand new knife. This is Knifey McGee. Not a bad knife. Not a bad knife at all. Uh, I do find it's very comfortable to hold in my hand. I know I'm spending a lot of time talking about knives, so let's just get right to it. Knifey McGee, we're going to go ahead and get the box opened up with your assistance. Go ahead and cut the tape on the front like a hot knife through... This is a hot knife through butter? I guess it would just be a, a, a sharp knife through tape. It'd be just as good of an analogy. Uh, we got some bubble uh, pillows. Soft, soft, so that a little tiny squirrel could just lay on there and fall asleep and dream of all the adventures that he's going to have lay a, ahead of him in life. You can imagine, he just kind of curls up and just, just kind of gets comfortable. Oh, to, be a, to be a young little squirrel, eh? I guess you'd have to worry about predators and cars and stuff. Okay, so maybe it's not so, it's not all glamour thinking about the life of a squirrel. Needless to say though, we've got ourselves, what is this? This looks like a uh, precinct, was it precinct 39? You know, a movie I honestly, I will, no, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I would never lie to you, the viewing audience, and to the members of the mob. I have never watched, is it, a, no, it's not Assault on Precinct 13. That's that's a different movie. Oh, District 9. Thank you to the person that was yelling at me. Oh, geez, my ear. He was yelling at me in the background there. Uh, District 9, never seen it. Never have seen it whatsoever. I mean, it's a neat, nice looking t-shirt. I'm assuming that's what that's from. But if it isn't, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me. Never seen it. Is it worth it? Is it? Let me know down below. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, look at this. This is interesting, especially for the fact that uh, Stranger Things is coming up very, very soon, actually. the Not this month, because we're in June right now. But in July, we're getting ourselves Stranger Things, the season three. We've already seen a new updated trailer for it. I gotta say, mwah, looks splendid. This is the Stranger Things special edition hopper in biohazard suit. I didn't even think such a thing existed. On the back, other characters involved in the, the outings here of Pop are Eleven and Hospital Gown, Hopper, Jonathan, Nancy, and Brenner. Collect them all. I like that one. I like, I'm not normally, you know what I'm like? You know what I'm like? I'm not normally on board the Pop train, but that one's not too, too bad. I like that one. A little Hopper in a biohazard suit. Also inside, we've got ourselves a Sea of Thieves, Pirates for All Eternity. This is a limited edition coin from Microsoft Studios. That's what it looks like on the other side there. Limited to 9,995 worldwide, individually numbered, embossed on both sides, distressed edging, and it's a silver edition. I mean, I'm sold. It's also considerably heavy too, being that it's made of metal. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? The last and only other thing inside here is the Joker poker set. Okay, let's get this opened up. That probably would have amounted for why this was so heavy. Normally I'll tell you guys in the review if something feels heavy. I didn't mention it in this go around because I thought, you know what, I always say that these boxes feel heavy. I mean, like after a while, am I losing my appeal just to simply tell you guys every single time that a box feels heavy? This box did, just for the record. I didn't, I, obviously I can't prove this after the fact, but the box did feel heavy. And likelihood, it's probably because of this right here. This is 120 poker chips, deck of cards, and dealer chip for the poker, for uh, the J Joker poker. Joker poker, that's kind of a tongue twister. Uh, let's go ahead, cut the seal. There's a little seal on the side, like a hot knife through butter seal. It's a sharp knife through a seal. It's, uh, I don't really don't want to cut the, I don't want to cut the metal. And I guess there's one right there as well. Did I cut that one? I don't think I cut that one. There we go. Maybe I don't need to cut all, there's like four of them on here. I, I get it that we're protecting the case and the contents inside, but we don't have to be so 
Okay, here's something else you don't know about me. I don't play poker. I don't think I've played poker a couple of times. I honestly don't get it. I'm not a big card playing guy, but uh, maybe for the fact that we've got ourselves some now Joker poker, there you go, might be more compelled to play some poker. Now, we've got ourselves some dealer chips with the Clown Prince of Crimes face on it. There's the dealer chips, there's the regular chips. We have those in yellow, we have those in white, uh, we have those in red or like a burgundy color. We have those in, what color would you call that? It's kind of like a bluish gray. And there's Joker on both sides. And we also have it in green. Let's not forget as well green. I guess the other thing we want to be looking at is the Joker Poker cards. I would have worked so much better if that also, uh, you know, rhymed, but it doesn't. Go ahead and get this opened up. You know, the only thing I don't care for when it comes to that knife, the knife in question, knifey, is the fact that the blade, uh, it has a safety feature on it. So I prefer like a knife that stays, you know what I mean? You're cutting stuff. Why am I talking about an, I, we're talking about other stuff. I'm sidetracking with a knife. Truth be told, I got it because it matches the colors of the backdrop and the logo and all that stuff. Is that is that a viable reasoning for buying a new knife? I mean, the time was coming. I, I told myself the time was coming. I had to get myself a new knife. You know, people that are new to this channel that don't really get this, you know, the, the kind of little side meanderings that I talk about are probably just like, this guy talks way too much. I know, I do. I do talk too much. Look at these cards. These are neat. I like how they got ha 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 on it. You got the hearts. You know what cards are all about. Uh, there's diamonds. Ooh, look at the color on those. Diamonds. Uh, uh, not diamonds. What am I talking about? The spades. <laughs> diamonds. Right now, somebody has to like delete back their comment. They they're about to say, "Dude, those aren't those are diamonds." King, uh, king, queen, clubs. There we go. And also, of course, the Joker, Joker card. Not a bad stack of cards. More compelling, I would say, now to want to play cards or not even specifically even just poker, but just cards in general. I mean, I would say personally, and as I always like to pose to you guys, the viewing audience. I myself would be more inclined to say, not that I necessarily would be playing more cards, but uh, I always ask you guys, what is the best item in this, you know, this subscription box? Honestly speaking, even though I don't play cards, I would say the price of admission right here is the Joker Poker uh, set. And also, hey, hey, there you go. It's also got some instructions too. So even if I don't know poker, I could go online. I could check on YouTube or I could just ask someone in my family because I have a lot of family members. I'm kind of the black sheep of the family. Everybody seems to like poker or playing cards, except for me. I'm just not, I just don't dig it. I don't, I always just feel, maybe, maybe it's just the company. I should say that to them sometime. It's not so much I don't like the cards that you guys want to play. I just don't like the company. I just kind of drop the mic and walk out of the room. And then everybody's like looking at one another and they're like, I don't even know why this guy brought a mic into the room anyways. We should have almost even assumed he was going to say something rather offensive, drop it, and then leave the room. Why didn't we even see this coming? You didn't see it coming. You didn't. And I still don't want to play cards with you. Needless to say, though, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the My Geek Box uh, based on this review, maybe uh, you can click the link down below and subscribe today. Also, let me know what your favorite item was in this shirt. District 9, never seen the movie. Poker cards and chips to a game I've never really, really played. Or perhaps it was the Hopper Biohazard suit. Or maybe you're just somebody that digs the coin. Let me know down below in the comments section, guys. And uh, also while you're at it, speaking of down below, here comes the plug for the channel. The plug for the channel is, if you're new to this channel or longtime viewer and just never got around to hitting that subscribe button, why don't you make it your goal right now? Tell yourself never again, never, ever, ever, ever again, even another ever, ever again, uh, am I going to go without watching this guy's content? So hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, and stay tuned because we're going to have a look at other unboxings coming onto this channel. I did my best to try not to have waving hands like a car wash through this entire video. Uh, but stay tuned, guys, because more videos will be coming your way, more unboxings and other cool stuff, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.